is that we have a president who is trying exactly. to undermine the Constitution. It is the president himself who is trying to lead an insurrection against the United States of America, against the government, against the Constitution, against constitutional safeguards. That makes this unlike any other time since Jefferson Davis became president of the Confederacy. And I know there are a lot of people who support Donald Trump who like drawing that parallel. Well, it's an accurate parallel because Jefferson Davis was a traitor to the United States of America, and so was Donald Trump. Uh, and he continues to be. Uh, and if any uh, of his supporters uh, don't think he is, I'd, I'd love to know what their justification is, because this is a riot that started to kill the vice president of the United States oh, and to kill uh, the Speaker of the House uh, and to, uh, to tear to shreds. Uh, the Capitol. Just just look at that information I, and, and look at the, the pictures of them banging on the doors, wanting to kill people, uh, saying they were coming for them, um, screaming and in, in anger and disgust when they went through the Senate chambers, screaming, where are they? Where where did they go? Uh, and Ed Luce, it's interesting. I've been talking to several uh, several pretty well placed sources through the weekend, also talking uh, to friends in journalism, uh, and uh, they're all coming to the same conclusion about Mitch McConnell. You know, the, the instant take on Mitch McConnell saying we're not going to take this up in the next week or so was that he was somehow trying to protect the president. It's taken some of us a little while to figure out that that's the last thing Mitch McConnell's doing. Mitch McConnell probably knew when he said he was going to delay it that the longer this plays out, the worse it looks for Donald Trump. And sure enough, here we are, you know, 11 days later, and more footage uh, is coming out, more connections to Donald Trump are being revealed. And the longer this goes, uh, the more Donald Trump is going to be attached directly to the rioting and the killing of these police officers. Uh, yeah, I think um, the arrests that are being made, the post the social media postings, the sort of um, ce celebratory mayor culpas that you've seen from so many of the particip participants in this assault on, on democracy, I think speaks of, well, making the, the job of the police and law enforcement a little bit easier, but also the naivety of some of them. But then on the other hand, there are clearly hardcore militia types here who had organized mm -hmm. Um, and nefarious plans to take out, as you say, decapitate leadership. So those um, are being uncovered. And I have no doubt that uh, you're right when you say, as time goes on, this looks worse. And that the legal yeah. objection, the constitutional objection to impeaching um, an office holder after they've left office is pretty weak, um, according to constitutional scholars I've listened um, to. Um, I think, though, the question here remains about what McConnell himself ultimately wants to do. I think he's testing the waters. Um, I think, you know, we have uh, here it's MLK Day, Martin Luther King Day. Mm -hmm. um, he said it's always the right time to do the right